Scandinavia for a little over a week, and I've been in Helsinki or Finland for about five, six days. I love this place. I just uh, Today, this big World Health and Happiness report came out, and it turns out that you guys are like the happiest people in the world. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> So maybe before we get started, one of the things I like to do is this thing, this paired share. So you could just uh, please take a moment, and uh, I'm going to ask you to uh, just stand up for a moment. Oh my god, you did that so well. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to find someone here who you do not know. And uh, just say to them hi and introduce yourself so you meet someone. Do you ever feel, I know I did, that I'm into this whole like healthy eating and organic and uh, it, it can be isolating sometimes. How many of you notice this sometimes feels isolating? <laughs> so one of the reasons I'm traveling around the world and one of the outcomes I hope that happens for you after tonight is that you find ways to connect with each other either on Facebook, or on Skype, or, oh my god, maybe even in person. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to be able to understand how to support each other in this process. And so now we're in a hundred countries around the world, and uh, you're one of the first countries I'm coming to visit. Uh, yay! yay. <laughs> We have to find a way to integrate both the regular medicine, you know, genetic research and medications and operations, but also the people understand, like Nita said, that we are responsible for our own health and for our own happiness. So really the places that I'm trying to describe with you today is how to turn the corner from being someone who is being helped by integrative nutrition to someone who can help other people with this kind of work. You know, I was recently talking to someone, uh, you know, we we're talking, and someone who had cancer, and I said, you know, the best health coach for someone who has cancer is someone who recovered from cancer. Because everyone wants to know, how did you do that? That's great. So whatever is your health issue, you can say to people, you know, I have this health issue and I'm working on it, but I know, I know a lot about it. I'm actually an expert and my health is getting better. Do you see what I'm saying? But over time I realize that food changes everything. Food changes the blood, blood changes our cells, our tissues, our thoughts, our feelings, our hair, our skin. Food changes everything, and then that became my career. And definitely food changes the environment, and it creates peace. You eat certain foods, you become more calm. Other foods, you become more aggressive. And so even if there's a shy thing going on, you want to be able to step out of that and to be able to understand that one person can make an enormous difference in them. I never imagined when I started, you know, I moved, I moved to New York from Canada and I was broke. But I had a dream in my, in my heart that I could help people. And I saw people suffering. And but I'm not any different than you. I just, you know, really, really worked hard at this. And so I'm here today to have you understand that one person can, one person meaning you, like the person who's sitting in your chair, that person, can make an enormous difference uh, for yourself, for your family and friends, and for your country or your city. Mm -hmm.